Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive. How about this? Uh, I'm just waiting on little, tiny little parts for this car. Uh, finally coming tomorrow. Um, Alright, it's all ready now. Pretty much everything is assembled here. But the only thing I was waiting on is the actual washer that goes there. There's a washer that goes here. Um, somebody have removed this uh, tensioner. It should be a washer that go between the tensioner and the, the block. Alright? Uh, there's two types of um, front cover. There's a front cover with with a cutout like this, like this one here, and there's a front cover without the cutout, and it's got a piece that goes like that, and it goes like that, which goes like this, see? That's the front cover number one, and front cover number two. If you have number two, you gotta put a washer, you've gotta put a washer between that, and that, and the block. So the washer goes here. So I ordered that last week, and should be here tomorrow, uh, that's why I can't, I just want to, and I've got a new harmonic balancer, this is the old one, this is the old one, as you can see, you can move it around, um, anyway, I've got a new one for this, um, but that's the actual washer there, so you got to put a washer, and the reason why the, and I can tell you right now, if you look at the actual belt, the driving, the belt goes on this pulley here, this is the tensioner. If you look at the belt, the belt has never ever sit properly on the tensioner. See there? The belt's been sitting between there and there. Never sit across, across like flush on this tensioner. That's why you gotta put a washer to bring this part forward more. Which the washer actually is exactly the same Diameter is from there to there. And you can see on this as well. See here? See the mark there? Because the belt is always sitting between there and there. It should be sit the belt should be between there and there. So you can tell why. That's one reason why the belt kept coming off. And this one here is wobble. Wobble as well. A bit wobbly so that's why I'm not sure. That's why I'm waiting because I had to do it properly. Uh, the washer, there's two holes on the washer and it goes nicely fits between there and there. It goes here and there as well. It's a nice washer. I was going to make on my own but it's too hard. Um, I've done it before to help a customer out because the parts was in Germany. It worked. Uh, worked. But I'd rather get the right washer. Alright, so this is where I'm at now. Just waiting for that washer to put in and then I'm going to put the new that's a brand new harmonic balancer there. That's a brand new one, so I'm gonna replace that. Put the washer. Put the. I'm gonna get a new belt because the other belt is all uh, cracked on the side and cut on the corner as well. So that's the reason why. Uh, once I get that done, start it up and pretty much test it, and it's all ready. Um, usually, when I finish a big job like this, I have the car running on the corner, of, just in the workshop, on the corner for about one hour. Uh, two, sometimes I run it for about one and a half hours, just keep it running, so I keep checking the oil, oil level, keep, sorry, the oil pressure, keep checking the, the under here as well, make sure there's no leak, and then if the car, just pretty much monit monitoring the whole system, make sure there's no overheating, make sure it's running smoothly, before I actually complete the whole front end, alright, so, I don't just, I don't, I don't like to finish the job and straight, straight away give it to the customer, I want to take it for a long road test as well, at least 35, 40 minutes, wrong t 40 minutes road test. Or sometimes go on the freeway and come back. That way, no 100%, there's nothing leaking. Or nothing's gonna pop off. Or I'd rather things happen on me, but not the customer. Alright, but most of the time, I mean, 100% is always good. If I run in the workshop for one hour without touching anything, it should be, you can tell if it's leaking or not leaking. So, one hour running in a workshop, you can tell a lot. If you're wondering, the tool to take this off is just a tool like that and just put it between the bolts like that and then use a socket, 18mm socket I think, oh, sorry, 19mm socket use a 19mm socket that goes here to turn the crankshaft alright, that's pretty much it that's the tool there
Alright. <clears throat> Thanks for watching and please subscribe.